I'm Griffin and this is Mari and today we're going to be doing insect pit, insect pit traps. <laughs> oh, that's a complicated one. Anyway, what kind of question do you want to ask with your insect pit traps? What do you want to find out? What kind of ant insects are here and um, where? Okay, great. And do you think that we'll find out um, what maybe is the most common insect? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. What do you think it'll be? Make a prediction. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a pretty good guess. The idea with the pit traps is we are going to bury them just beneath the surface and then whatever is crawling along the ground will all of a sudden fall yeah. in. Will it be able to get back out? No. So we are gonna try to see which insects we have on the ground. Griffin and Mari found the first spot that they're gonna put a pit trap. They decided they wanted to compare a couple different places in our yard. This is the first one. The important thing with these pit traps is if you're gonna leave them out for a long time, you don't wanna be killing lots of insects. So you wanna be able to either cover them up or pull them out. So usually leaving them in, say either overnight or for six hours or so during the day, um, as long as you're checking them often, it's great. Um, but if you know you're gonna be away or you're not gonna be checking them, either pulling them out of the ground or covering them up is super important. Griffin and Mari are using different spots in the yard so that they can get a complete picture of what's available. They're also trying to dig deep enough that um, the pit trap isn't below the ground, but kind of even with it. So they're going to go ahead and place it in pretty even with the ground. Um, as long as at least one lip is even so that the uh, insects can walk right in, it'll work. You can have it straight up or leaning a little bit to the edge. But if they have to climb up and in, they're probably not going to go into the cup. Where are you guys? We're at our first pit trap that we made. And see. I don't think I see any in there, do you, Mari? No. What do you see? What do you see, Mari? I see nothing. Let's check our second trap, Mari. Ooh, Ooh that's a, a bunch of fire ants. Yeah. One, two, three, three four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. We, we don't want to kill any of the bugs, so now we're gonna let these ants go. Spider. Okay, it's okay. Here it goes. Is that it? Yeah. Just a little spider, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna check our last trap. So there's a really tiny one down there. Might be hard to see. Um, and there's five in there. And what are they? Do you know? Spiders and ants, I think. Cool. It's really hard to tell. Did you guys enjoy doing pit traps? Yeah, yeah. it was really fun like to see where like how there were no insects up there. And there's like ants in one and then spiders in one. And then and these like little spiders in that one. Yeah, they're, they're all tiny different, huh? Ants. Yeah. So you guys had had what would be the most common? Ants. Ants, yeah. Well just because there were so many yeah. in that one. <laughs> and how many different kinds did we find? Ants, spiders, anything else? Um, really, really tiny spiders. Daddy long Daddy legs. Long legs. Um, really, really tiny spiders. And really, really tiny. Yeah. So do you guys want to leave these out? Yeah. 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 So what's important? You have to check on them every day so the bugs trapped in there won't die. Where did you get the idea to do these pit traps? From the lunch with the scientist last Tuesday. Yeah, with Will Richardson. So if you want to learn more about pit traps and tiger beetles, you could do that. We're hoping, right, to catch a tiger beetle? Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe someday. We'll keep checking. 
Thanks for joining us today. I hope you share the bugs you caught with us. See you next time.